In this video, we will learn about the nasopharyngeal swab sample collection, storage, and shipment. In suspected pertussis cases, collect two nasopharyngeal swabs within 28 days of onset of cough. In suspected measles, collect one nasopharyngeal swab. If throat swab or urine sample could not be collected, sample can be collected within seven days of onset of rash. Materials required for nasopharyngeal swab collection is as follows. Gloves. Always use face mask and face shield for patients and our own safety. Disposable bag, tissues, sellotape, scissors, paper scale. Always use a thin, flexible nasopharyngeal swab made up of dacron or nylon. Remember to check the expiry date. Never use cotton and calcium alignate swabs. Preserve the Pertussis nasopharyngeal swab in Amy's transport media with charcoal or Reagan low transport media while measles rubella sample in viral transport media, Ziploc bag, labels and a laboratory request form. Now we are ready to collect the sample. Put on face mask, face shield and gloves. Have patient sit with head against a wall or a support. Patients have a tendency to pull away during this procedure. So, explain the procedure to the parents or patient. Now, Measure the distance between anterior nares to the lower lobe of the ear of one side with the paper scale. Open the swab and mark it half the distance measured on the paper scale. Ask the patient to blow the nose forcefully to remove any mucus plug. Position the head slightly upwards and insert the swab along the floor of the nose up to the distance marked. Avoid insertion of swab in upward direction. Do not force swab if obstruction is encountered before reaching the nasopharynx. Remove swab and try the other side. Try to leave the swab in place for 5 to 10 seconds to increase sensitivity. Insert the swab till the bottom of the transport media and cap it securely. Immediately, place the swab in transport media and tighten the cap. Best is to wrap the tape around the cap to prevent any leakage. Pertussis are fastidious organisms. They die quickly if samples are not stored and transported in appropriate conditions. So, store the sample at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius. Sample should be safely packed in triple layer package. The packaging consists of three layers as follows. Primary package. A labeled primary watertight, leak-proof package containing this specimen. The package is wrapped in enough absorbent material to absorb all fluid in case of breakage. Secondary package. A second durable, watertight, leak-proof package to enclose and protect the primary package. Several wrapped primary packages may be placed in one secondary package. Sufficient additional absorbent material must be used to cushion multiple primary packages. Outer shipping package. The secondary package is placed in an outer shipping package which protects it and its contents from outside influences such as physical damage and water while in transit. Packaged sample should be transported under cold chain to the reference laboratory with prior intimation. Transport the samples at 2 to 8 degrees Celsius temperature. Just make sure that the dispatched samples should reach in the laboratory within 48 hours.